This is a quick video demonstration of our NVR-ELC16 PoE16 and I'm going to be showing you what it comes inside the box. Inside the box of this NVR you can find different accessories. You will have a power cord to plug into the NVR and power it on the, the unit. You, this particular NVRs are rack mountable so you will find the ears there and you can attach them to uh, mount it on a rack mount. Uh, you will have different um, screws for your uh, CD burner. This is the brackets for the CD burner as well. Screws for you to mount the, the hard drives. The green terminal is, is for you to connect alarm inputs. So these are uh, little um, terminals that you connect on the back of it and then you run your wires to it. Also if you have uh, a PTZ, an analog PTZ that you want to control from the NVR, uh, you have to connect the RS-485 using these terminals. You will have a Cat5 cable, a remote control. This CD comes with uh, links for our videos of how-to videos. It comes with a manual of the NVR, etc. Comes with four SATA cables. This is uh, you can connect to this unit four drives up to three terabytes without a burner. So uh, it comes with a four SATA cables, and lastly, it comes with a mouse for you to interact with uh, the um, user interface. As you can see this NVR it's a little bit slimmer and uh, here in the front you can see the uh, buttons to navigate throughout the OSD or the user interface of the NVR. Here you have some indicator lights when the unit is on, when the, there is activity on the hard drive and the network and then some of the channels of the NVR. You will have a up, down, left, right button and an enter button to navigate throughout the menus. Uh, a front USB for you to put a mouse or a uh, USB flash drive for you to do backups and a uh, front button for you to turn on and off your unit. On the back of this unit you can see the 16 PoE ports that are properly labeled so it goes 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. You can uh, find an extra Ethernet port right there and this is what you will connect the NVR to your router so you can access the NVR interface or the web service. As a side note, uh, I wanted to tell you that when you connect the camera here through the PoE, you will not be able to access the camera interface from uh, a computer. And the reason why is because the NVR is uh, already handling that part. So whatever you need to configure on the camera, you can do it from the NVR. You can configure, you know, uh, the resolution. You can access, uh, you know, color, brightness, and all of that that you will access directly from the camera itself. You can access it from the NVR. You have a mic in and a mic out, three video outputs, you have VGA, video output BNC, and HDMI, two USBs on the back that you can use for, uh, you know, you can connect a mouse in there, or you can connect a USB drive or a flash drive for you to uh, download footage from uh, the NVR. If you wanted to expand uh, storage, what you can do is you can use this eSATA connector right here. Um, the eSATA allows you to have or expand your storage uh, based on the eSATA enclosure that you're putting in there. For example, we sell a NAS4 that it's capable of handling four drives up to three terabytes each. So you can add a 12 terabyte uh, storage there through eSATA and then an extra four that this NVR um, offers, that this NVR uh, can handle if you don't have a, a DVD burner install. So um, that's what the eSATA is for. Uh, the RS-232 for you to connect the keyboard or for you to uh, connect the devices that they are supported by the NVR through RS-232. And lastly, uh, green terminals for your inputs and outputs, for alarms, inputs and outputs, and the RS-485. Um, they're properly labeled and you can connect uh, analog RS-485 wires to the A and B ports of this NVR and control it from there, uh, even though that you don't connect the camera directly to it. So um, this is pretty much the back of a unit and here is the on and off button and the power uh, connector right here for you to connect the power cable that comes with the unit. Overall these units are completely redesigned. They are more powerful than the previous version. Uh, they support up to 16 cameras at 1080p at 30 frames per second or you can add uh, 3 megapixel cameras at 20 frames per second each. So you have, uh, the way it works now is you have 128 megabits per second shared throughout the uh, 16 channels on the NVR. 
So you, if you wanted to add cameras to it, you just make sure that you don't reach that 128 megabits per second. It's very simple. Um, it's actually easier than before. Uh, you basically will divide 128 by the amount of channels or the amount of cameras that you add into it, and that's how you configure each of the cameras uh, bit rate. So as long as you don't exceed that, you can add 16 cameras without a problem. This MVR, it's a dual core. It supports, once again, four drives up to three terabytes without any burner. And um, it has a ton of features on it. Uh, it's available on our website right now, and I hope you like it.